Alright guys, it is the Dev King here back with another video and guys in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you about players and local scripts and stuff like that so basically guys local scripts um they're pretty useful you use them quite a bit and what they do is they only run from the client now before we get into this video i just want to say make sure you understand filtering enabled or else you'll be you will be very confused so watch my last tutorial first if you haven't already but anyways let's get into it okay so a local script a local script is a script that runs like a script right but you can do a few more things from it. Like, well, actually, you can do a few less things from it, too. But basically, it runs only on the client. So it doesn't run on the server. So anything that happens in the local or anything that happens in the, the local script won't happen for everyone else. Now, let me show you what I mean. So um, I'm going to actually go ahead and read this off for you. So if you hover over, if you go to Workspace, right, and uh, click on this, and you hover over uh, local script, it's actually going to tell you, it's going to say a script that runs on clients, not servers, right? So it only runs on the client. It actually won't even run on the server. It won't work. And it only happens on the client, too. So local scripts can only one run under one of the parented, only one parented under one of the following. A player's backpack, a player's character model, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so basically, you can only use local scripts if they're under a parent of one of those things right there, right? So if they're, if they're yeah, if they're a child of one of those things, okay? So, um, yeah. Anyway, so basically, local scripts won't run in the workspace. They don't work. You need to put them on your player GUI or your sharder pack back or your sharder player or whatever. I put it in my sharder player script. It's pretty easy to use there. And um, yeah. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and make a script. And I'm going to make it only... I'm going to make it do this, okay? I'm going to make it um, create a new part, right? And what it's going to do is it's going to create a new part, but it's going to do it in the local script. All right, let me show you what I mean. All right, so I'm going to do um, local uh, new part is equal to instance.new um, uh, part, and then the parent is going to be workspace. So right now, as you can see, there's no parts here, right? None, okay? And since, it's in the, since I'm writing this in a local script, what I'm doing is I'm creating a new part in a script, and I'm going to put it into the workspace. Now the thing is, the part's being created in a local script, so it's only going to show for me and not for everyone else. Now let's go ahead and test it and make sure it works. So I'm going to start a server with two players. I'm going to go up here and start it. So here we go. And make sure it all works all, all good and dandy. So uh, we'll just let that load up. But yeah, it's only going to work for my player, and that's it. Now actually, sorry, one second. It's, it's, it's a little confusing looking. Okay, so look. As you can see here, right, there's... There's a, oh, whoa, this, this is trippy. Okay, 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 okay. All right, look. So as you can see here, I have two players, right? And they sure saw us in the last story, right? As you can see, I have two players, and there's actually a part here for both for both people, right? You see, both of us see the part, okay? We both see the part. But as you can see, on my screen, the part's actually tilted a bit more. And that's because we have two different parts in our game. This part is... I have isn't the same as his part. Okay, we have two different parts. So if I were to delete this part, right? Um, let me see. If I were to go to Max My Explorer and I were to delete this part on my on my on my client, it would still be there for him, right? Because he spawned in on his client, and that's what it shows for. Just just um you know or just this client, right? You get. I'm, I hope you get what I'm saying. I'm sorry if it's a little confusing, right? But now if it's on the server. The server's not even the server's never even seen that part, okay? Because the player only spawned it in for himself and not for anyone else, okay? So basically that's what that does, okay? The 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 player only sees that thing right there. No one else sees it but the players, and um because it was made in a local script and local script ran for everyone, so basically no one else sees it but this player right here, and the server's never even seen it, never heard of it, or anything like that. So yeah, basically a local script runs in the in the client and only for the client. And that's actually how you use GUIs too. You can only use GUIs through local scripts like that. So yeah. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much local scripts. I hope you did, I hope you did understand that. I'm sorry if it's a bit confusing. Like I said, guys, the advanced series is gonna get a little a little bit confusing, guys. I won't lie, but it's still a lot of fun, and we're gonna get to the fun stuff really soon, guys. I promise. We're gonna make a simulator at the end of the, all the tutorials. So make sure you subscribe if you're new, and um, make sure you watch every single tutorial. So at the end, we all know how to make a game, and we're gonna make our game together. And I might even do it live. I don't know, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, be sure to join my Discord server if you have any questions, and leave a comment if you have any comments. Um, also, one more thing about local scripts is you can actually get the, is you can actually get the player from the local script. So you can do local player is equal to game dot players dot local player, and basically now I have my player, and I already have it in my script right here. So now I have my player, and I can do whatever I want to it. 
Now, obviously, it only show for me, but um, it it would it would it would would work. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it right there. Um, it printed out my name because it has my player. So um, yeah. Um, we'll be using that in the future, but um, it's hard to show local scripts that example. I'm sorry if I if I were to show you an example, it'd have to be like a lot longer video. But um, this is how it works basically. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial, and uh, yeah, peace out.